Hello and welcome to day 31 of our 2790 series. Today we're going to read John chapters 19 through 21. Uh, we're going to see Nicodemus again. Uh, he, he pops up again here and he's one of, the, one of the men who takes Jesus down from the cross and buries him openly and in public. He's no longer coming to Jesus at night. Uh, he's no longer hiding in the shadows. Uh, Jesus has begun to truly transform this man's life and uh, and it's it's good for us to see that there is hope uh, for even men like Nicodemus who had so much uh, peer pressure and so much he thought to lose by coming into the presence of Christ and then of course in chapter 20 we have uh, probably the most famous and the most moving of all of the resurrection stories we have the Easter story uh, with the women and with Peter and John running to the tomb and uh, the gardener and, and Jesus is risen from the dead uh, and it's a powerful testimony to who we are as Christians. Uh, we have uh, in this story we also have in chapter 21 we have the profound disappointment of Peter. Uh, he has not yet been filled with the Holy Spirit and so even, even though Jesus appeared to him at the resurrection He's still sorely disappointed that things didn't turn out quite the way that he thought they would. Very much like if someone says a prayer that God would change their circumstances of their life and their circumstances don't change or perhaps even get worse. There's a profound disappointment that perhaps God doesn't care or God doesn't have a plan or even that God isn't good. And Peter's clearly disappointed and he pronounces that he's going fishing and he goes back to what he knows best and back to his old way of life and Jesus visits him in that disappointment and reminds him of what he's called to do. He says, Peter, do you love me? You should be feeding my fish. And, and so there's this play in the word love where Jesus asks Peter, do you agape me? And Peter responds, Lord, you know I feel us, you. And Jesus goes through this three times until Peter realizes that he's being called by the Savior to be involved in people's lives. And so he's willing at that point to go into the upper room and experience the real transformation that comes when the Holy Spirit comes into his heart. So you enjoy the end of the Gospel of John.